Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm so happy you're here with me on this show. Um, sorry to everybody that was waiting. I um, I forgot to call in. That's it. Just just forgot. Just sitting here. Didn't look at the timer. Uh, but now we're all together. We're doing the show. Here we go. <laughs> Um, thank you for holding on and not hanging up and disconnecting. So a um, couple announcements for those who are returning and those who are new. First and foremost, um, I will be taking callers off of the call log. So if you'd like to call in and join the show live, the number is 845-277-9131. If you are wanting to ask a question or watch the show live, you can watch on YouTube and i um, happy to answer questions there also. Sometimes, I'm just going to say this, the energy when you call in is so much better than when I'm answering on YouTube, but either way is okay. If you're calling in to ask a question or connect with a loved one, I just need a very exact question or um, about love, life, career, finances, or a uh, the name of a loved one and their relationship to you, and then I'll do the best I can to connect you. Just a little PSA, I will never reach out to anybody and tell them uh, uh, to purchase or anything like that. The only way you can purchase, or not the only way, but um, you go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, and you book. I don't ever say reach out on social media telling people to do that. So please don't get scammed, okay? We're going to go straight into the show today. Um, I am going to get to um, <clears throat> loved ones and songs and... Um, <clears throat> Oh, I guess I'm going to do that now. I was going to wait and take callers first, but apparently not. So the first song I'm hearing is that song, My Pony. I'm just a bachelor. We all know. We know the song. I don't have to sing it. Um, that's the first song I'm hearing. Um, the way the songs work, for those of you who are new, if the person on the other side loved this song, you love this song, it was your song, it's the answer to a question, please don't let that song be the answer to anyone's question today. <laughs> please do not let that be the answer to a question. <laughs> well, maybe it is. Maybe that is the answer to the question. Well, or maybe it is, and that's okay. Um, the next song that I'm hearing is... Um, it's it's two songs, but they both have. Uh, the first one is. Um, oh my gosh, I might not be able to get this. It's it's such a I I don't know the song very well, but it's um, strawberry drinking that strawberry wine or something like that, and then um. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there because I don't know. I'm not even hearing a beat. I just keep hearing Strawberry Hill and strawberry wine. So whatever that means for somebody. The names I'm hearing today are, um, they. this could be your name, it could be your loved one's name. Um, Bruno, Bruno is the first name I'm hearing. I didn't expect that because I, I was hearing a different name, Joe. Joe, Joe Joseph, Joe Joseph. Um, Michaela, and then Um, so somebody's here and it's a thin, a very thin woman that was with a walker and she had um, black skin um, with a walker and a little hunched over and she had lost weight and muscle mass as she aged and she's like, she is... And she, next to her with the walker is a man who was a little fuller, like thicker, not not like a big, big guy, but he was full. He was a big, he had a bit of a belly and he's next to her. And again, with um, black skin. 
And she is not telling me her name, but she's saying, she's just saying, tell them, tell them, not him, um, E-M, tell them mom's here, tell them mom's here. Um, so I think if this woman is for you, she's wearing like a dress that's short sleeved, a little bit longer, like mid shin, and it's blue with it's white with blue flowers on it and so whoever this is for even though I can't get the name because she just keeps tell, saying tell them it's mom tell them it's mom she had um uh, dark skin like the uh she was she was black or African and then she was walked with a, a walker and hunched over and then the guy next to her is um like helping her walk and so and he was a bit he seems bigger next to her of course of course so they're here too they want you to know that they're here also even though i'm not getting the name of them and then the last name that i'm going to do for right now is gloria and then they're singing the song gloria I think I got your number. <laughs> okay, okay. There we go. Now we start. Now here goes the show. Um, welcome to the show, everybody in the uh, in the chat. Um, we have Amy here. Angie, welcome to the show. Uh, Heather's here. Hey, Heather, Fawn, Ann, Farah, welcome to the show. Genevieve, Sal. Hey, Sal. Let me know how that clearing is working for you. Uh, Mimi, of course. Lisa, welcome to the show. How are you? Um, uh, okay, so Mim uh, Lisa says, I'm sorry, but very new to this. And I have a question. When you're on the phone, how do you get your question answered? Okay, so you call in and then I, one at a time, take callers and then I answer one question for them. So if you wanna call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Call in, let's get this party going. Um, and then who else is here? Farah, and then, yeah. Hey Patrick, how are you? Margaret, welcome to the show. Happy to have you. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller, and the first caller's area code is 904. 904, what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, we're going to go to the next caller. 708. 708, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Hi Kay from um, Highland Park. Hey, Kim. Um, How can I help you today? Any messages from, hi. Do I have any messages from my husband, Jim? Jim. Okay. Okay. So uh, right away, I am seeing a bit of somebody. He's like behind my right shoulder, but um, I'm not seeing all of him. So I won't be able to give a very good descriptor of him, but I am seeing him in like a t-shirt, a <laughs> if that helps. <laughs> I'm seeing him in a t-shirt. Um <laughs> So there's that. Um, he's and then his first comment is it's casual Friday. <laughs> um, he seems like he was if this if I'm tap, th there are a couple people here with him. So if I'm tapping into the right person or getting the right person first, because he's also saying dad, dad, dad. So I feel like either his dad or or your dad is also here with him. Um, and the first thing that he is saying, it would be I'm sorry, love. That would be his dad. Okay. So he is here with his dad. Thank you for confirming that because he does keep saying dad, dad, dad. Um, okay. 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 So the reason he's saying dad is because he also needs to tell you something about your dad. Okay. So here's where I'm going to start this because I don't want this to get really serious for the show, but I'm just going to give you the messages I'm getting. I feel like he was a bit, he was a bit of a jokester or funny at times. Um, 
I'm going to tell you, he has this personality that can, some people might find annoying, but other people would find a little bit funny. And he he's just saying uh, quite a character. Now, if this is him, I, I hope it is. I hope I have the right person because, yeah. Um, the it message, like I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds too funny. It's funny. Yeah, thank you for confirming That's that. Very Thank you so much. So the first thing he wants to say, and if this isn't happening right now, please remember that these messages are predictive. So if it's not going on right now, it's something that's probably going to be coming in. Or Okay. So the first message I'm getting is about dad. And, um, and I'm getting goosebumps on this, but I'm trying not to say it. But it is I, I feel I I'm getting the sense that your dad is not doing well, or in a short period of time, your dad won't he's, be doing. I'm sorry. He's crossed. Um, your my, my father isn't around. Your father isn't around. My father. Okay. No. So somebody's. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay, this is what I'm going to tell you. Then when he said dad, that probably means that your dad is with him, first of all, not his dad, your dad. But there's somebody here with you that is male that is not doing well right now or is not going to be doing well in the near future. And it's a male. And they're going to, like he's saying, they're... And time over there is very different than it is here. They see everything all at once and whatever it is, okay? So what I'm hearing is, I hear the word sick, which means somebody is going to be ill. I don't know if this is going to be very, yeah, I feel like they're going to be okay, but it's going to be very emotional or very, scary like everybody's going to be very concerned when this whatever's about to happen everybody's going to be very concerned when it happens um it's going to seem very serious not that it's not serious but it's going to seem very serious and they are just letting you know because they want you to know everything is going to be okay it's all going to work out and everything's going to be okay. So don't like, don't worry too much, but it, I'm getting very distinctly. It's a male and it's either going to happen like in a month or within a month's time, but everything's going to work out. Now, I, I if this message is for you, if I'm tap, tapping into the right energy and I'm getting this message for you, I, I, I hope it's helpful, but if it's not for you, it's for somebody else who's listening that somebody within a, within a month, there's going to be somebody who's, who gets ill and it's going to seem very serious and, but, but everything's going to work out and be okay. Um, and I feel like what they're going to get is, a. I don't, I don't really want to say this message. I go, Oh my God. I don't really want to say this message. Um, what a way to kick off the show, right, folks? Um, what I'm going to say is whatever happens, um, at first, okay, for whoever this message is for, and love, I'm sorry if this this isn't your message, but whoever this is isn't going to leave me alone until I get the message out. At first, it might seem as though this person is having a seizure, and maybe it is a seizure, but it may also be something a little bit more serious, and they do need to like get it taken care of right away. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. And as far as your husband, just your husband, I'm only tapping into your husband. He's, he's saying that he's, um, the first thing he's saying is the first thing I hear is I'm sorry. Um, and then I, I, if I'm getting it correctly, again, he's saying, I'm sorry, I had to leave that way. I'm sorry, I had to go that way or I had to leave that way. And I think you probably know what that means um, for whatever that means. Does that make sense to you, love? Well, yeah, it was a long road. 
So, okay. And then if I'm just tapping again into him, only him, he is grateful for everything that you did and all of the care. And again, he's kind of a jokester. So take this as a joke. He's saying, I don't know if the tables were turned, if I could have, you know, did everything you did, like, like he couldn't have, uh, like he, He's acknowledging that you did a lot. And if the tables were turned, basically that he's joking, though, because he would have. Um, but he also wants you to know that he is making it right. Whatever that means for him and for you, he is making it right. He's going to be doing something to make it right. Um. And he's going to be doing it, well, you should see something tomorrow. Now, when they say tomorrow, it doesn't necessarily mean tomorrow, but it could be within a very short period of time. But he's saying the word tomorrow, but he's saying he's making it right. He wants you to know he's going to be making it right and that you are going to be having an easier go of things. Um from th that point on, everything will be easier for you. Okay, love? Okay. I hope this message was helpful. And I kind of hope the first part of this message is wrong, even though they never are wrong. But for whoever that is for, um, just remember everything's going to be okay. It's going to work out okay. And that the person is going to turn out to be okay. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful that you did. And uh, I look forward to talking with thank you again. You the time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 205. 205, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hello. Can you hear me, Tony? Uh, it's a little gargly. Tony? Yep. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Okay. Can you hear me, Tony? I can. What's your name, love? Patricia. Okay. How can I help you today, love? Yes. You had told me that I was going to well, meet a couple of people. And I did meet a Jimmy. And I want to know, what do you pick up um, as far as he's concerned? He, I like his company. Well, the but first, is he a good guy? He's okay. It's not okay. So it's not always if somebody's a good guy or a bad guy. It's, is this the right fit for me? Is this somebody who's going to be the right fit for me for what, what I like to do, where I like to go? What do we have in common? Do we have the same future vision? And when I say future vision, I don't just mean, I mean in many areas. Do we have the same future vision for relationships? Like, do we see, do we look at relationships the same way and have the same vision for our relationship? Do we see our futures uh, similarities, like we both like to travel, we both like to go dancing, we both like this, and we're going to be able to do these things together. Do we, so this is what I mean. He's, he's, he's not, he, I, this is what I'm going to say to you. I, I feel like I'm, I'm really feeling like he is, he's okay. He's not the guy you're going to spend a lot long time with this is not going to be or should not be possibly a long-term relationship if you try to make this a long-term relationship you're going to notice a lot of complications so when we try to stay in a relationship that maybe we're settling or we're going i can deal with this they send in complications to help us decide to not settle or to not um, just be in that space. Okay. I feel like if you try to, if you just do this because it's comfortable and they're there and they're there, they're going to make it very complicated for you and you'll be forced out of, out of this situation. I'm going to tell you, there is somebody else coming in 
And this person is coming in between a month and a month and a half. Okay. So anywhere between the four and six week mark, this person has um, good character, a solid person. And one of the, this is how you're going to know this is the, a person that you can have a longer term relationship with. One of the things that you love to do, this person also loves to do it and will be very excited to do it with you. So I'm going to just give some examples. These are not, I'm not saying this is it. For example, somebody who likes to salsa dance, this person maybe loves to salsa dance and you, now you have this, or you love to bake or cook or uh, do whatever it is, whatever, there's something that you love to do. Okay. Some, sometimes that can be travel, so whatever it is. Um, this person also genuinely loves that. They're not just saying it, they genuinely love that. And they're going to want to do it with you. And it's something that I'm hearing is healthy and good for you. And you're really going to enjoy uh, doing it together, okay? Whatever that is. And this person is coming okay. in in between four and six weeks. So for a month from today, within two weeks of that period, this person should be coming in. So that would put us like at uh, the second or third third week of July I'm getting. I do feel like you meet this person at some sort of outdoor event or festival. You meet them very organically. You're not going to have to push it or try. I feel like it is going to happen very naturally. Now, I do want to say an outdoor event or festival or something like that can be like if there is um like a, a place that serves um, food and they have outdoor dining and then you're sitting with friends. I think going out with your friends is also considered an event and you will you have the opportunity to meet that person there. Okay. Um, so that is what they're okay. saying. This guy is, the, you know, technically he's okay. He's just not that person for you um you i feel like you mm -hmm. might get bored with him very very quickly but you're not, i just feel like there might be some boredom if you stick with this and that's never good in a relationship right yeah okay right. i hope that's helpful love i really do hope that's helpful yeah okay thank you so much um many blessings tony oh. thank you Thank you. You too. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. You as well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, love. Uh, Rebecca joined us online. Uh, Mary Lou. Hey, hey, Mary Lou in Germany. Uh, wonderful to meet you. If you do have a question and you are out of the country, you can post or even in the country, you can post your question in the um in the thing and I will be happy to answer that question for you or you can call in the numbers 845-277-9131. I do offer private readings. Um, a lot of people ask that, but I do. Um, and so if you would like one, you can go to my website, T-O-N-I-G.I-N-F-O. Okay, Rebecca wants to know what is holding me from losing weight, exercise, be active. I would like to be energetic as before. Okay, Rebecca. Hi, Jay. Hey, Jay Francis. I'm going to do a clearing right now for anybody listening, re-listening, uh, watching, re-watching. We're going to do a clearing on our ideal body. I don't always say we want to lose weight because we have an image of what we want our body to look like. So let's do... Um, there's something stopping or blocking us from having our ideal bodies. I get a yes. Let's clear, heal, release that. All that caused this and kept this has cleared, healed, and released. I get a yes. So let's clear, heal, and release that. Um, I do offer, I, I'm also a hip, I also offer hypnosis. And I 
use the clearing work and I use hypnosis to help people reach their body goals, whether that's to be, you know, more fit, athletic, or to reach that size that they want to reach. And I always tell everybody, when you're changing your body, don't have a number. It's really important. Like if you were always uh, 109, let's just say, and you want to get back to that, that, that just might not even be, that might not even look good on you now. So have that look that you want. Visualize that look as you're falling asleep. And then your body will start to acclimate towards that. And whether that's like being very athletic looking or having a lot of muscle or whatever it is, just start envisioning that as you fall asleep and it's going to help you a great deal. Okay, um, let's go to 415. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, this is Kate. Hey, Kate, it's been a minute. Yeah, I haven't called in for a while. And so I have a question about I'm going back to Washington State in August. And um, I have a lot of things in storage there from when I lived there. So I'm thinking about driving. So driving and bringing things back or flying you know, or anything about that trip that comes through. I hear drive and I hear get it and go. Get it and get out. Like, don't plan on mm -hmm. spending time there. Just get what you're going there to get and get out of there. Don't, like I'm hearing, don't be nostalgic. Don't hang out. Don't, whatever. Just get your stuff and go. Like, that's bada boom, bada bing, okay. done. Well, I do have a job. Yeah, I have a, a job up there for for three weeks. So I'm going really for that, but I, I know what you mean. Not okay, really, good. I'll just do that job and, and clear out my storage unit. Yeah. They're saying like, like, I think it's your grandpa. Cause I hear grandpa and he's saying when it's done, it's done. Yeah. Like when it's done, when it's over, it's over. Got it. No nostalgia, just get it and go. So as soon as you're done doing whatever you need to do, get out of Dodge is the statement that he's making. Okay, love? Wow. Well, that's great because I was feeling nostalgic, like, oh, maybe I want to stay there. So that you said it without knowing it. So thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So no, don't, don't stay. It's not for you anymore. That, that, that phase is Got done it. and over. Okay, thank love? You. Great. I needed that. So thank Excellent. you. Guys. Thanks for the message. Absolutely. I'm happy I could help. Okay, if you're calling in, the number is 845-277-9131. Um, if you have a question you want to ask, push the number one on your phone and then it will um, connect you. There are a bit of callers, so I'm trying to go a little bit more quickly today to get to them. Um, so I have two 610 numbers. Oh no, that's 510. So I'm gonna go 610, 610. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Sonia calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Sonia, how can I help you? Yeah, I had a career-related question. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see what you're picking up uh, for my present position. I'm here at this company a little over one year. And um, I just wanted to see what you're picking up overall for the position and my growth and longevity there. Okay. Um. Okay, so when I'm asking questions, I, like I, I'll, I'll ask a bunch of questions silently and then get the answers. So the biggest thing I'm hearing is you can stay at this company as long as you want. Uh, if you want to have growth with this company, I feel like either the company will expect you to have some sort of training to get that growth or they offer some sort of training and then they'll they'll promote you with training or some kind of, they may even offer I'm just feeling like they may offer what you need to grow, but you have to, there are steps you have to take to grow within this company. And I'm hearing that it's like some sort of training that you would have to, 
uh, do or take. But if you do it, you will have the growth. But if you don't, then you might not. I'm also hearing that after six months from now, you might start looking around at other places because I feel like what I'm hearing is you get bored and you expect things to happen a little faster than they are. And you get frustrated when things are not happening uh, quickly for you. Like, okay, I've been here for six months. Where's my, where's my promotion? Where's my raise? Where's my this? Where's my that? Um, which is a good, good thing. But they're saying be patient and do the extra stuff, which again could mean whatever they're offering. And the other thing is, um, if you don't ask, you won't get. So when they say that, what they're saying is, if you don't let people know you want to be promoted, if you don't let people know you want to move up, they, they may not let you know what you need to do to move up. And they may not think you want to, they might like overlook you for other people who are asking. So if you're wanting promotion within this company, you're definitely going to have to let them know and they're going to guide you into what to do to get there. Also, I'm hearing with this company, even though you're in the company already, keep an eye on their job board because you might see something on their job board that you might not be aware of is available. And then that might be also how you hear about some of the positions that they have because they might not per post them inter internally, okay? Okay. But they're saying the biggest thing is don't get frustrated and don't get um, impatient. Um, try to stick it out for a little bit and let people know uh, that you want to move up or what you want in the company in, in like a gentle way. Say, hey, you know, what can I do if I want this or how can I get to this? And they will let you know and they'll work with you, okay? Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in love. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm going to go to the next caller and that is five. Oops. 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 Sorry, 269. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're not next. <laughs> but you, you're going to be next after 510. I hit the wrong button. 510. I'm so sorry. 269, hold on. You're coming on next. 510, what's your name and where are you calling from? She's in California. How can I help you, love? Okay, I want to know about where do you see me going now with, with my job? Because I just lost my current job. Okay. Who? Um... So the first thing I hear is you're, you might, you have to, okay. Um, huh. What they're saying is that you're going to have to really look to find what you want. Um, it's, it's, it might not be easy for you to get another position right away. Now, this morning on TikTok, I did a clearing for, you know, finding the right position. I'm gonna do the clearing here again now. So, um, uh, anything stopping or blocking us from getting a new job or promoting in our current job has been cleared. I get a no. All that causes and kept this has been clear. I feel like, okay, I don't know why I feel this way, but I'm going to say it. I feel like there is something when you're looking for this new job, when you're out there looking right now, there's something that's going to prohibit you from getting a job right away. I don't know if there just aren't jobs that you want in your area or somebody say, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to clear that now. I'm going to clear all of that now. And okay. I do feel like I'm hearing outreach program. 
So I'm going to take that statement outreach program and I'm going to give a couple examples, but I could be maybe an outreach program helps you find the right job. Maybe an outreach program has a position available for you. Maybe an outreach program um, does something in some way to help you like to clean up a resume or how to f fill out the application to make you the most desirable candidate candidate. But there's something with an outreach program coming in for you. And I think you need to really pay attention to that, whatever that is, whether they have the position, whether they help you find a position, whether they help you, whatever that is, you uh, really look into it and see what you find, because I feel like that's going to be the key to you getting this next position. OK, sweetie. Oh, OK, well, I did apply for one. Okay, uh, you applied for a job? At an outreach program, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Maybe that is, maybe that's what's going to be coming in. I the job also, that I'm supposed to do there. And I also hear, sweetie, I also hear that you should keep, keep it, like, keep, uh, resend to them or reach out to them again and say, hey, listen, I'm still interested. If this is still available, please also look at a hospital. There is a hospital near you that will have positions available that are good for you also. OK, so between I, I, I just did that today. <laughs> uh, yeah, OK, good. Yeah, then I you're on the right the track. Point. You are totally on the right track. <laughs> Thank you. You are Thank you. You are so welcome. Now let me do another clearing. Let me just do one more clearing, let, one more healing clearing. Let the angels come in and take anything that is stopping or blocking us from getting work. Clear it now. All that has caused us has been cleared. Let's clear that. Anything in the way of us getting a, a good position with a company that is good for us and a good income has been cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that. And you guys, you can come back and you can re-listen to these all the time. Um, anytime, every show has clearings in them. So yes, that is what, if you want to come back and re-listen and make sure everything is staying clear, please do that. Okay, sweetie? Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in. And I do feel like Thank you. The, the outreach program, I just keep hearing outreach program, outreach program. So maybe they are going to reach out and that's who you're going to work with first or they are going to bring you on. I do feel like it is a good fit for you. I feel like it will be really good. OK, sweetie. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Okay. you are welcome. You have an amazing right. day. Call us back and let us know what happens. OK. OK, I will. Thank you. you you're welcome. Bye bye for now. Um, I'm going to go directly to 269. 269, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yay, it's me. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Thank you. My name is Pamela. I'm calling from Michigan. Hey, Pamela. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I accidentally hit the, the okay. wrong one. So how can I help you, love? Um, that's fine. I was wondering if you were picking up anything from my sister, Denise. Okay. Is there something specific? Let's be a little bit more specific about this. She's kind of all over the place. So I want to make sure I'm getting what you want. Um, is she first? Well, it was just so very sudden. Okay. And yeah. It, yeah. I'm, I'm still in a state of disbelief about her passing. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. Right before she passed, was she really kind of all over the place, sporadic, like very... I don't know how, I don't want to use the word chaotic, but like not making sense or something like that, like just kind of all over the place. Do you know if she was like that right before mm -hmm. she passed? Because she's saying for like a month. Um, she had a real sudden. Go ahead. She had a very sudden, severe illness. Okay. And I don't know, I don't know about her mental state before that, but I think it was just, um, it was, it wasn't supposed to be so severe, but it ended up being that way. Okay. So she is saying for about a month, she was something. I'm just going to say it like this, because I think the way I'm hearing it and the way I'm saying it might not make sense. But 
for a month there was something really off or wrong. That's the way I'm going to say it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that makes sense. And that it was very chaotic and, and sporadic. If she wasn't chaotic and sporadic and all over the place, this was. Whatever happened was. Mm -hmm. And it was for about a month, but two weeks before that. So two weeks before the month, so a month and a half ago, she did something she shouldn't have done. I did not expect to hear that. I'm like, what'd you do? What was it? So well, tell us, share. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, two weeks before, like a month and eight, six weeks ago, she did something she should not have done. Okay. And she knew it at the time. She knew she should not have done this, whatever it was. Um, now, when I say this next word, please, I'm going to explain it um, so that people don't jump to conclusions. If I hear the word drug, it could be a medication. It could be an over-the-counter thing. It could be um, it, it, something that was prescribed that didn't sit well with the person. It could be a vac not uh, um, some sort of shot or something. It could have been a wrong dose of something that was the right thing, but the wrong dose. So what I'm hearing is about six six weeks before this this month thing happened. Um, so sorry, everybody. So sorry that's watching. Um, she did something she she knew she shouldn't have done. Now maybe she went and got a prescription or something. But in the back of her head, she was hearing, don't do this, don't do this. But she did it anyway. She didn't listen to her intuition. Or maybe it was something fun she was doing. I don't know. I'm not going to say exactly what it was. But that is part of what really accelerated whatever happened with her. I, I can't say it caused it, but it really accelerated it. It really accelerated it and it caused tremendous um, the word she's using is malfunction and my I know exactly what this cricket is. My tongue is itching and that happens when I eat bacon because I'm allergic to bacon. So whatever she did, she had an allergic reaction to it and it accelerated everything. I know exactly what that is. I know what she's trying to show me because my tongue is just, mm. for everybody who's watching, I'm so sorry. That probably looks very disturbing because when your tongue itches, the only way to scratch it is with your teeth. Um, so whatever this is, there was some sort of reaction. And again, this was probably... Like for a month, this went on, but two weeks before that, whatever happened, she, whatever she did or took two weeks before that, that's where what accelerated and or caused and or uh, made it impossible to contain or take care of. Okay. So she just wants you to know that, uh -huh. that that is part of what happened. And then the other thing, she is singing a song that's going to probably make me cry. So I want to apologize in advance. You are my sunshine. My. Everybody who knows that song knows that I don't need to sing it any further. So that song, she's singing that song. And um, she's still singing it. So it's really good. And I'm so sorry. It's so getting to me everybody <laughs> um and then she's saying please this the last the part of that song is please don't don't like please don't ever take my sunshine away so that's the song that she is um bringing through for you and she wants to tell you um oh, okay Okay, uh, now she wants to say that uh, she, <laughs> she's saying this, and it's so funny because she's, I don't know if she used to say this to you or you used to say this to her or somebody, if this is a statement, remember when, 
Like she's just going like, remember when? And then the story would start. Like the story would just take off from there. So it's not even a story that she's telling me. She's just doing the remember when. And she wants you to use that when thinking about her and funny things that happened. Um, so when you're thinking about her, just think about that, those memories, or if you have a memory with her, she's doing the remember when to you. So if you like, let's say all of a sudden have a flash of the two of you swimming or doing whatever when you were younger, that's her going, remember when that one time we went here and then you're having a flash of the memory and that's her bringing it in and she really wants you to embrace those moments and enjoy them and um and she's really grateful for everything she's just really grateful looking back she's really grateful for everything looking back she's so grateful for everything okay love mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. You are so welcome. And I hope this was helpful for you. I really do. It was. Thank, thank you very much. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to 805. 805, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Cody. It's Donna. How are you? Hey, Donna. It's been California. a minute since I've talked with you also. Hi. What's going on? It's so nice to talk to you. Um, the other, about six weeks ago, I was at the beach, and it was it was great. The water was gray, and it was windy, and there was no tide. And the tide was very high. You couldn't walk on the beach. But I looked out there, and I had this feeling I've never had in my entire life. The whole world opened up to me. It was just amazing. So I'm expecting some great things to come in. You know, So I want to know, what were you picking up on that? So you had like a moment of connection with the divine. And when we have that moment, yeah. it takes us back to when we first came in. And when we first come in to this world, we see everything differently. We, we remember things still, certain things. Um, we're not programmed yet. Okay. And so uh -huh. you were able to get like a bit of a reset. And here's what I want to say. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy you called in today with this. Um, because I was, I was thinking this the other day. Um, and so this is, this is, I'm, yeah, there are no coincidences. So we're always looking outside of us and asking for things to come to us. Right. But everything is already yeah. inside of us. So the spark of the divine God, whatever you want to term you use, I'm just going to uh -huh. use the word God, because that's just what I use. So please, if just everybody use your own. Replace my word if it's uncomfortable for you. So the spark of God or divine is inside of us. But we're always, you know, we look up to the sky where the, the hole is. That's where the whole connection, where we all are, all of our sparks connect. But really, when we want to create in this world, we have to go within and we have to go to that part of us that is the spark within us and connect with that and put it put what we want there and that often is like um in our imagination or visualization in there and then from there it appears so when we have that moment where everything opens up to us it's reminding us that it, of that and it's reigniting your ability to create everything with okay. newness with a new perspective of how things should be okay love yeah yeah that's wonderful i want to ask you too do you real quick do you see a relationship coming in for me it's been so long and i do get out there and everything but i just haven't really clicked with anybody that I'm, you know, interested in yet. Yeah, that's because, okay, and I, I, I know that this is probably going to um, not come off very nice, or the way I'm going to say it is, it makes sense, <laughs> but like, ah, um, yeah, you're very guarded. There's something inside of you that like, you, like, 
I'm going to use another one of my examples. You just think all men are like blah. So uh, when I was growing up, my mom would say to me all the time, uh, uh, the only thing men want is sex. So I grew up thinking that. Like that was just my thing. Oh, men uh, only want sex. But there's some, it's not the same thing for you, but there's something inside of you. You'd like some people think, oh, all men are, are liars and all women are this and all, all men are this or all women are that. So there's something inside of you. So what we're going to do is we're going to heal, clear, release anything, stopping or blocking any of us from having a healthy, loving partnership. So even if you're in a partnership right now or you're wanting to bring one in, whatever this is that might be in the way of it is going to heal, clear, release, let go of now. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to say there's something stopping or blocking you from letting somebody love you. Oh, <laughs> let's clear that for anybody and everybody. And that is so true because we don't want to. We, I, I'm getting two messages on that. The first one is we're. If we let somebody love us, then we we might owe them. For some people listening, we don't want to feel owed, but we also don't want to let somebody in and love us and then be disappointed again. We don't want to believe because we've been let down before. So let's heal, clear, release, whatever it is, whatever. It, it, it could be even something completely different than that. Let's heal, clear, release that. Um, and the, the real thing I'm hearing is you, it, it would be really good if you could get a new perspective on men or the way you are associating with or talking to them. It's it's almost like, well, let's see how this, how long this one lasts, or let's see what's wrong with this one, or let's like it's almost like a little banter or something like that. But whatever it is, we're gonna clear that too for anyone and everybody who needs that cleared. Um Remember, for everybody, if we go into something and we're just seeing where it goes, it's like putting, it's like starting your car and going, okay, I'm going to just see where my car goes. It's, it's not going a freaking place until you decide where you want to end up. Okay. So that's just a little something, but that's what I'm going to say to you, love. And that's what I have for you. Um, after this is clear, something should come in as long as you're ready. Okay, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. You are so, so welcome. You have an amazing day. Um, I'm going to go directly to the next caller. The, the call in is 845-277-9131. If I do not get to you today, remember, I will be back Wednesday at noon answering calls and talking, talking, uh, uh, answering questions online also. And if I don't get to everybody online to answer your questions, I'll do it after the show is over. So 724, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, thank you for taking my call. My name is Shay. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Shay, how can I help you today? Yes, I was wondering um, what you could pick up, if anything, on my romantic life. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to tell you there's the potential for somebody to come in with, with they're saying within a week, I'm going to say about a week. There's a potential for somebody to okay. come in. Um, if you're already with someone, this person is going to be, it will, Either somebody new, is this somebody new? Yes. There's Even if you're with somebody right, right now, now I, I'm sorry. There's nobody in my life on a romantic level. Okay. I just promise that helps you. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to tell you there's somebody brand new coming in, but there's somebody from the past that's going to want to circle back around. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, what is that song? Um, two trailer park girls go around the outside. Yeah, let them keep going. Let them keep going. Um, what I'm hearing is don't entertain the past. Just move 
very quickly into the future. Somebody's coming in within, definitely within the month of June, but it could be as soon as within a week. It's a new person. Yeah, within a week. And that is a new person, Janet? I'm sorry? Now, is that the new person coming in within the next month? Yes. Or the past person trying to. No, okay. I think the past person's going to come back, but I think there's already going to be somebody new. And that might be why the past person comes back because they don't feel that either they hear, know, whatever somebody new entered your life and they're wanting to whatever. But here's what I'm going to say. Here's just what I'm going to say. Who is ever from the past, let them stay in the past. Don't even converse with them. I'm yeah. hearing don't even have a conversation. Don't put your energy there. This new person is coming in within the month, possibly within a week, possibly tomorrow. 90 seconds. And this person is going to treat you very differently than anybody has ever treated you. So give them a fair chance is what I'm hearing. Don't go in with skepticism. Any, go, go in eyes wide open, mm -hmm. but don't go in skeptical. And I would love to answer more questions for you, but I only have like 60 seconds left. So unfortunately, I can't. Um, but call back on Wednesday and we can pick up where we left off with this. I want to thank everybody so much um, for tuning in today and joining us. I'm so grateful for you. I know there are quite a few people I did not get the opportunity to get to. I will be back Wednesday for a minimum of an hour taking calls and answering questions again. If you are on YouTube and you posted a question, stick with me. Stick with me. I am going to go through and answer your questions after the live stream ends. So again, thank you, everybody. I'm so grateful. I love each and every one of you so stinking much. Thank you for spending your time with me. It means a great deal to me. Thank you.